So welcome back guys, it's none of it in. Cringe star. Um yeah, so if you haven't been cringed out already, it's Abu. Abu Tor. Synchronization, colour coordination. So hopefully today is gonna be tips on A level. We're talking about revision resources and so this video should really really help out a few people, especially on what to revise and how to revise as well. Um with what resources. First, background information. I've done bio, chem, physics, maths. He done. I did biochem, physics, maths for AS and then ended up dropping physics and did maths, chem, bio for the second year. One thing before we even begin, I wouldn't advise doing four A levels. Now, the reason why is because your time will be split differently. Now, I'm telling you, like in year 13, the workload is just tremendous and you don't need to be doing four. You gain no major advantage. Do you understand? Like, let's just say you miss out on a single grade and you get four A's instead of A star yeah. AA. You're not going to get accepted into universities apart from a few specific that allow for exceptions. Yeah, yeah. So it does you no favor. There's no point giving yourself extra work. And that's one thing that one person told me, but well, I thought, you know, I'll I forget about that. And then I took, I took the L basically. At the end of the day, I think Eunice would rather want two A stars in an A than four A's. Do you understand? 100%, 100%. So Abu Tarab is 100% right in this case. Honestly, like if I could go back in time, which I can't obviously, um, I possibly would take only three. And obviously I had to learn it the hard way and potentially it could mean that I don't get the grades. By the time this comes out, um, I'll obviously find out whether I got accepted into medical school or not because obviously quarantine season, corona, predicted grades, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, But one more thing I wanted to say is that, or you can learn it kind of the hard way, like I did physics for an entire year and then I ended up dropping it later on. And we know a lot of people who end up dropping the fourth subject later on anyway. So, I mean... At the end of the day, you don't really need it. So there is no point of you trying to put that extra burden on yourself. Do you know what I mean? But why do you think people um, choose to take four? I think, uh, especially uh, after my GC0 results, I was like, I can handle four. I think I can do that. I think it's probably, depending on your GC0 results, you might get eights and nights and you might be like, you feel a little bit confident, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing, you know, to believe in yourself and mm. be confident. But I think sometimes it's just unnecessary pressure why would you put an extra subject on you when you know that it won't really benefit you in fact it can put your chances down because there could be a you're spending more time in school and outside of school revising for that subject which you could be spending on your other three subjects and smashing them getting the a stars 100 percent. in your ucas application you won't be allowed to have four if you don't currently study them and some unis can give you a four grade um, conditional offer, right? Yeah, they can. So they can give you an extra subject to get a certain grade in, and it's just honestly unneeded. But, so. but one more thing I wanted to say. Let, let's mention quickly some benefits of taking four subjects. Okay, yeah? okay. One of the benefits, as you said, is that some units do give you certain. Uh, uh, for example, they might say, okay, either A star AA or you get four A's. Do you get it? Like okay, Mary, yeah, for example, yeah, okay. might do that. Yeah. One more thing, guys, is for example, I dropped physics at the end of the year, mm. but do you know how it helped me? Because I was taking my BMAT, which you guys know if you want to get into medicine, it's one of the exams that you need yeah, to take. Yeah. In my BMAT, because remember, there is the physics section, and that year of physics in your 12 really helped me on the BMAT section. So we're not saying that it will completely waste your year, but it depends on the subject you choose, okay. and it depends on many different other factors. But the best advice, three subjects right okay 100 so guys bear that on board because the last thing you want to be doing is just wasting time so we're going to get on to um maths explain what you use for maths okay listen we'll talk about maths first first of all these books right here you can see right here is these are the books that you get from the uh, from your school normally you would buy them yeah. from your school or you might get a um a pdf version on your on yeah. your ipad or whatever you have and they have so much first of all they have the entire content and not only that they have every single question now one thing i've heard i don't know how true this is yeah. but if you can do every single question in this book yeah. you're guaranteed a at least an a star that's what i heard i don't know how at least an a star yeah, look, yeah. Look, look. that's what i've heard if you can do every single question on that book yeah. because remember that question that book has uh basic questions hard questions intermediate questions yeah. exam level questions and it's filled how many pages is it like one of them is that 400 pages guys so it's huge amount of content make sure you use them and to be honest your school will make you use them anyway in the first place yeah. that's the main thing now let's talk about some what's other the name stuff. what's the name though it says here it's the edexcel a level mathematics for example this one's the system statistics and mathematics Mecha uh, mechanics uh, mechanics yeah yeah that's my reading gone out the window um, yeah, yeah. and it's endorsed by edexcel so basically if it's endorsed by a by the examination or body then obviously they trust in its teaching and basically take its tips do you understand so take its tips not, so. not only that is because they're not going to be putting something 
on that specification, yeah, yeah in the exam, because if you do Edexcel, you're going to be doing an Edexcel exam. Mm -hmm. They're not going to put some random stuff in the book, like yeah. irrelevant stuff. They're going to make sure mm -hmm. that it's somewhat related to what's going to come up because they want you to do good because you're taking Edexcel. Do you know what I mean? 100%. So that's how the companies work. So now that we've mentioned some of that, this is where you will be getting your main core mm -hmm. content from yeah. alongside with your teachers teaching you, helping you out. Yeah, yeah. But what? Let's talk about some of the small stuff like Maths Genie, some of the little websites, these little companies that they have been giving you like kind of like revision material I guess like mm. small revision material yeah, so let's uh, uh, let's talk about a little bit about that so what would you say about them what, what kind of website should they so go on primarily with maths there's a website by the name of exam solution if you haven't heard of it you need to hear of it um, exam solution has like all specifications not necessarily edXL so OCR AQA and it has like um, I think a breakdown of every paper, but every subset as well, for example, like vectors, um, mm -hmm. integration, differentiation. Every sample paper, every past paper. Not only that, it's for maths, physics, chemistry, biology, a no, few subjects. No, that's, you know, you're confusing the two. Is it, is it also... Uh, no, this ex exam solution is different. That's just for maths. The one that he's talking about is a banging website by the name of Physics and Maths Tutor. Oh, and there is another one called Maths Made Easy. That also has biology. I'm sure about okay, that. Okay. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, 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 yeah. There's another one. About. But guys, remember this is not just for AES or A level. This is also for GCC. Yeah, you do yeah, know yeah, that. 100%. So if you guys don't know about it, maybe it's a little bit worrying because mm. that's they have literally every single paper that you could possibly have. And past papers is one of the most important things mm. that you want to do, 100%. especially right before your exam season, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm I'm with Torab and it's in, in the totality. Um, so again, that's for maths. So primarily exam solutions and using the book as well as physics and math tutor for questions mm -hmm. if we go into biology what would you advise them? biology okay so i found this uh, you guys know the student room uh, i just went there and i actually found some of the guys who did biology before and got a stars and they have lots of pdfs there mm -hmm. so you can go on student room yeah you can get advice from lots of people on the student room so you can get some pdfs from there you can go to or oh, in our school for example we had summary sheets made from our own school and what i would say is that just do some on research. top of that i have summary sheets just i had to plug it um yeah yeah yeah, on the on the metro website, website so check yeah. them out links yeah. will be down there yeah. in the description Come below yeah. okay but anyway guys so going back to what i was saying it's very important for you to again we don't have the biology textbook with us right now but we need to go through the biology textbook to get the fundamental knowledge to get the basic knowledge i, I wouldn't necessarily advise you to go through the textbook one because it's a lot of lots of content the one, honestly the one thing that i'd say is that luckily Due to the summary sheets, there's um, there is a breakdown of specification mm -hmm. as well as the points that are necessary for the specification. Yeah, yeah and the, the answers the, the answers come from exam papers. So it's not like I'm waffling and slapping them all together. So these, when you memorize this first and foremost, the fundamental essentially as a technique by the name of priming when it comes to psychology, mm -hmm. um, the things that you're first exposed to is that which sticks to you. For example, whenever it comes to anything that you need to memorize, yeah, it's always what you're or your first impressions for example yeah, yeah, yeah. you it always sticks with you i'd say primarily go get the summary sheet um it just seems so bad that i'm encouraging them to get the no no but to be honest no. this, this is the way i see it Obviously get that get that first and then get the textbook because the textbook yeah. might explain something further to you but you don't want to get a wishy-washy explanation when you can get a three to four word explanation do you understand what i'm trying yeah, to say listen, that, that's his point but I, i'm gonna have to disagree no, no, on this no, one no, 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 this, no. This i think this is where i cut the video yeah yeah go okay ahead. Yeah. listen listen this is what i think i think the textbook alongside with the uh, summary sheet, summary sheet. Yeah. so this is what I would do I would go through the textbook understand more mm. it, it, also some of the irrelevant yeah, stuff yeah, that yeah. you don't necessarily need but then look at the summary sheets and be like okay so that's what I need and that's what I don't need do you understand yeah, so this yeah, is the yeah, way yeah. I see it yeah. And as I said, guys, there are so many different ways to revise. It's not one specific way. So if you guys think that you want to start off fully with the textbook, with all of the mm -hmm. basics first, yeah. and then slowly, slowly build off. I'm not telling you to use the textbook the night before your exam. That's not what we're saying. Okay, yeah. We're saying, obviously, summary sheets are what you need the night before the yeah, exam. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you need. But I'm saying, if you want to start off first, yeah. especially in year 12, which I feel like you have much more free time than year 13, mm, yeah. I think it's better to start off with the fundamentals, with the textbook, and then slowly, slowly move. I, I, I would very 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 much disagree i think we're not going to get on the same page in this Listen, point we, we are not on this one okay but honestly what i'm saying you there's three samples on my website they can go check out um mm -hmm. and you should see you should see whether the textbook has relevant information other than what's on the sample so go just basically check that out it's up to you guys subjective isn't it no objective yeah. okay, okay. okay so basically um now let's get on to chemistry let's talk about chemistry okay first of all chemistry again 
This time, I think I might be on Muhammad's side. I actually did not use the textbook. I think the chemistry textbook was not worth it. That's rubbish, me. Rubbish. It, it, it really wasn't good. Uh, what I would say for chemistry, use this website called ChemRevise. Obviously, links will be all down there in the description below, guys. ChemRevise is the one. Do you have anything on your website uh, about chem with chemistry related? So I have to drink a little just to get that energy back. Hurry um, up. What I'm saying is, camera advisor is the only thing that you need. I'd say, yeah. along that with questions, is the only thing. I'm going to do a zoom effect right now. It's the only thing you need. It's only. honestly. Yeah, yeah. I would say that. 100%. It basically has everything from the textbook but with exam language and it's updated yearly so chem revise will be in the link description um go check that out don't purchase the textbook because you don't need it you need to do exam questions a levels is not necessarily the same as gcse whereby you can memorize uh basically what's it called like and then regurgitate in the exam mm -hmm. it's, it's not necessarily the same it's about applying the information especially so, for chemistry bro you have yeah, to apply yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. much oh they, my they'll gosh. tell you like some ketone with another functional group that can do some crazy condensation reaction stuff like that you need to know like main points they're not necessarily the wishy-washy waffle about the factory mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff so it comes with exam practice and the more exam practice you do the more you'll benefit now a small benefit that i'd give you guys when it comes to the main a-level exams is not necessarily to stick with um just the exam board when it comes to past papers. Go do OCR papers. OCR papers for chemistry are really, really difficult. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, they're difficult, but you really benefit from them. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you say for chemistry? No, for chemistry, I think, 100% I agree with you, bro. Chem revise, and obviously questions, 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 bang them out. And I think that, that should be it. Obviously, understand the, understand the concept, understand it properly, understand why uh, chemical reactions happen, and all of the things mm. within uh, chem revise. If you have any questions, ask us teachers again guys so teachers are always there to help you out anyway so that's not really a problem so let's quickly move on maybe a little bit for, about physics because i done it the first year let's talk about a little bit about physics yeah, what yeah, can yeah. you say now this is the major secret the one that i keep to myself so basically what i do is what i've done is essentially there is no major textbook for physics physics is questions just like i say you cat is practice mm -hmm. physics is question if you go on physics and math tutor link in the description you'll be able to see a ton of specific questions on a subtopic for example waves or waves is a massive topic but for example um what's what's the simple harmonic motion or something like that something of those likes or for vectors, example whatever yeah vectors or even parabolic motion with mm -hmm. um starting off at a horizontal degree or something like that you have specific questions where you can build the necessary skills to be able to master those questions so what you do is you answer the question and put the answer on a piece of paper but you squeeze many questions that you get wrong onto that paper with the answer so you memorize the question and the answer hopefully i'll put a picture i might not even put a picture because i don't want to even lie but you need to do this because the more physics questions you do and you can revise easily and accessibly accessibly i don't know i'm not yeah, yeah, english yeah. is not my first yeah, language yeah, yeah. um the more physics questions that you can revise um the more benefit benefit there is basically yeah yeah is that yeah, yeah, yeah but one more thing i wanted to say with physics it's not like GCC physics where you memorize the equations mm. you need to understand the equations very very important because for example a lot of the uh, multiple choice questions mm. or we didn't talk about much about the multiple choice questions so let's let's talk about them in physics and in chemistry they have lots of multiple choice questions how would you say is the most effective way to revise them for example I'm just saying basic revision and questions questions in a level is the key to success man I'm not even gonna lie to you mm -hmm. obviously, different format so obviously after God, um, before we put our caveat clauses in there, um, but I'm telling you, questions, man. Please bear this in mind. Don't just rewrite the textbook. There's people, primarily girls, and I know I might get a few hate comments for this and a few dislikes, but please don't dislike it. Girls love to rewrite notes. That's one thing that drives me crazy. Do not rewrite notes. You don't need to. It's not. It's not even going to help you. You for think it's going to consolidate? From my personal past experiences, uh, especially at GCC, I feel like I've seen more girls that have very nicely written notes. But I see some guys like one of my. I don't want to mention no names, but they're very good. Yeah, bro. One of my guys, yeah, you would see the notes, and even this guy, yeah, his notes are absolutely rubbish. But the bang, <laughs> the, no, they're no, the banging no, no, ones, no, no, bro. No. You guys get like straight up ace, no, ace, no, fast. No, like, no, I know a lot no, of guys, no, bro. No, no, no. Okay, we have to put caveat clauses in that. 
Listen, this okay. guy's might be hallucinating right now, so. But okay, there are some people I know, guys, the notes are absolute rubbish and they still get the best of like grades, do you know what I mean? So obviously notes are important, but it needs to be smart. Like don't spend two hours on making the colourful, you know, page yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. so hundred percent. But I think that's about it pretty much. Don't you think so bro? For all of the tips, you know, if you apply them at the end of the day, just about practice, I think you're gonna be successful inshallah. Yeah. Obviously alongside with praying and making sure that Everything's up to date, guys. Yeah, 100%. So I think we're going to wrap it up. Guys, if you haven't liked the video, I'm getting so much support on these videos. It means a lot. It, it Honestly, the zoom effect, it means a lot. So thanks again, guys. Um, smash the like button and catch you in the next video. Take care.